Hi guys, this is always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD Essential Training. In this video, I will discuss coordinate system. We have two primary coordinate systems, Cartesian and Polar coordinate system. AutoCAD also support cylindrical and spherical coordinate system, but they are only used in 3D modeling. We use Cartesian and Polar coordinate system all the time. Even if you draw a simple line, then you are going to use the Cartesian and Polar coordinate system. So now just turn on your dynamic input on your status bar, click on this icon and then your dynamic input is on now and I'm going to go and start a line. And now we got two values here. First value represent x axis and second value represent y axis. So if I go closer to my 0 comma 0, so you see that values are basically decreasing. So if I take my cursor on the right, which is x axis, so the values are basically increasing. If I move my cursor up, you know the y axis values are increasing. So this is basically Cartesian coordinate system. While your dynamic input is on, you can see those numbers next to your cursor. You can even type the values as well, even if your dynamic input is not on, you can still type the values and it will take you to the specific point. So I'll specify absolute coordinate by giving values to my dynamic input. So I'll try 15, press tab to go to the y axis value, press 15 and press enter. And now this is basically our absolute 15 by 15 coordinate system. Normally we don't care where the line starts from, but I'm just highlighting this to show you guys that you can actually input absolute coordinates by giving them values. Cartesian app coordinates are not very useful when you're drawing a line but they're more useful when you're drawing a rectangle. I will show you in shortly that how you can draw a rectangle by using Cartesian system. But for now, I will talk about the polar coordinate system. So now I'll start a line and I'll select any arbitrary base point. So I'll select my first one right here. And now the coordinate systems auto automatically change to polar coordinate system because it's much more useful at this stage when you're drawing lines we generally don't care where the lines start from instead we're more concerned with how long the lines are so the polar quadrant system measures the distance from your initial point which is that so if I move my cursor about here so you can see that the value is really small if I move my cursor further away as you can see the values are increasing so the other portion of the coordinate system is the angle. If I move my cursor, as you can see that it's actually telling me the angle of the line as well. So now I'm going to give them values and I will type let's say 20 and I press tab to go to my angle value. So I'll type let's say 45. So I want this line to be long at 20 unit and angle should be 45. So I press enter and now the line has been drawn at 20 and 45 degrees is the angle. So the basically polar coordinate system is all about distance between your starting point and to the next point and you can specify angle of the line as well. So now let's talk about Cartesian coordinate system when you're drawing a rectangle. So I'll start a rectangle command and I'll give a starting point some arbitrary point. So I'll, let's say I'll start my line about here and now our starting point is that and then if I move a cursor and now it's you see the values are changing on your dynamic input so let's say I want to draw a rectangle of 20 by 40 so the first value represent x-axis and the second value represent y-axis so basically the point would be not from 0 to 0 it actually start from the first point you just given to this command so let's say I will type 30 and I press tab for the y values so 30 is about from here to here as you can see that if I type 50 and now the rectangle is basically drawn so all I have to do is press enter and then as you can see that we got the old rectangle so if I measure this by using a measure command and I start from this one to this one which is 50 and I will go and start this command again and start from this point to this point which is 30 so the Cartesian coordinate system is more useful when you're drawing a lot when you're drawing rectangles. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um this is about coordinate system and I'll see you guys in the next video.